Yo, what is going on guys? This is episode number three of the Deacus Tree. To start off with, I want to explain a few more things. So, the last episode, I got a lot of comments saying it was too easy. They still wanted me to bring the contract system into it, this and that. But a lot of people were happy about the rule system, but they just felt that it was pretty easy. So I decided to expand on that. I saw some comments and I read some things, thought of my own things, asked some people. We're expanding. The contract system is going to be here. If a player runs out of their contract, you have to use one point to get a new contract, a 13 game contract. If you would like to have a 23 game or 28 game excuse me contract that costs two points so every game you win you get one point if you get a shutout when you get two points if you lose you lose one point if you get shut out you lose two points if the player gets a hat trick you get two points when you win a division you get well, obviously the one point from winning the game in the division and then as well as you get one pack and from the one pack you could take one player and add it to your team if you lose a division like get set back a division you lose three points if you sweep a division you get three packs one person per each pack and the final thing is i have a few players in my bench which you will see later on and those players can be swapped in and out if the player runs out of a contract and you want to swap them back in you still have to get a contract for them and so on and if i run out of points and don't have any anything to get them with to get them out of the contract i have to figure something out but hopefully it doesn't happen we did not winning that game and i got my second point because we had one point left over from last episode if you haven't watched that so now we're on two points and i hope i was clear i i hope i was clear for you guys and all that stuff if you have any more questions just be sure to ask me and i'll try helping but that's it it's not too complicated i don't have too many rules if if you guys want to add in some more things please tell me but those are the basic rules there's only a few things i can get two points that's a shutout a sh uh yeah shut out a hat trick and that's basically it to get two points and then if you get shut out you lose two points and if you lose you lose one point and then the division thing is just for packs and the contracts are one point for regular and two for the rare contract so that is it now we're gonna get back into this i've been playing a lot better the elgato did not have any problems which was really frustrating because after watching the first episode i was just like ah oh, trying to make sure the episode is the best it can be and the elgato is having problems was really being frustrating anyway back to the gameplay it is three nothing right now and we're gonna move on in with some nice moves but sadly we do end up losing the puck we're gonna recapture it and we're gonna make it a four nothing game that would be it the kid would end up leaving we would get the shutout therefore we get two points from the shutout and we're gonna use three of those points so we're back down to one point we're gonna change dion Phaneuf to dustin bufflin he's gonna hopefully be our rock at defense and hopefully be our second best player on the deacus tree so dustin bufflin welcome to the deacus tree If you send me to the dark, give this world a light to shine Cause there's gonna be a lot of people mad If I die young uh, And my mama raised two kids all on her own I was jealous of the kids that had two parents in their home My pops left me for the sky, my pop left me for the sky Now I'm steady popping bottles like this message is inside them uh, I'm just living low key, something sort of like an OG Now everybody seems to know me, started way back in 03 When I started to rap and smoke weed, Tupac S and double OP and we are back our first game with bufflin on the team against sniper yeah whatever that guy's name is snipers his goal is nine and three not the greatest record but the goals against average is very good so he looks like he's pretty defensive or his goal has been really good one or the other nine and three is a pretty good record so this guy is quite good in my opinion our goalie is six and oh with a 1.46 so that's even better leonard's been really good he has been weak at some points but most of the time, he's been a very, very solid goalie for me. Anyway, we have one point because of spending three from the Bufflin deal. And then we get a coast-to-coast -coast goal with Kulikov to start this game off pretty early. Ten minutes into the first period, Kulikov does get it again. Dangles through him. Kind of a weak backhand, but it's going to go top shelf, and that is going to make it 2-0. And then another breakaway he's going to allow me to get. But instead of getting a breakaway goal, we're going to let Raymond finish on the one-timer. 3-0 against this guy. End stages of the second period. And Noland is going to get it to Lewis back to Noland for a nice little cross-crease play right there to finish. 4-0 at this point. And Ribeiro is going to get it to Kessel. Kessel's going to make a little nice move and another little nice move and he's going to finish. That guy was not happy. 
having that play and that was it from him it was a five nothing win he had a big zero that zero is a shutout and that means we get two points on our belt so we are going to go from one point back to three we're going to get our second point and our third point because the shutout win so we're back at three points and we're going to end this episode off here and there's going to be a little surprise at the end if you guys can get but if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like it means a lot and i'll see you guys for the next episode back to my voice people always ask how i got my